So I watched the Oscars, the Academy Awards the other night, and I couldn't help but think to myself, there's something in the air, and it's it's not Hollywood magic. I think it's Ozempic. So in case you've been living under a rock, Ozempic is approved by the FDA as a medication to treat diabetes, um, but it's being used off-label in a lot of instances to treat obesity and help patients with weight loss. It works via a variety of mechanisms, but it accentuates the actions of insulin and suppresses the effects of another hormone called glucagon. It leads to hunger suppression, and it also slows gastric emptying, um, which reduces the absorption of sugars from your diet. Something major to know is that its safety is not established in pregnancy. And so anyone who's trying to conceive should really let this wash out of their system. They should stop Ozempic at least two to three months in advance of trying to get pregnant. And this is something you should talk to your doctor about. In terms of effect on fertility in both males and females, obesity, uncontrolled diabetes are things that can lead to infertility. It can cause irregular ovulation in women and lower testosterone levels and erectile dysfunction in men. So using Ozempic in these instances can actually improve fertility, but there's also sometimes too much of a good thing. But Ozempic has also been shown to have a paradoxical effect on your hormones. So there are some studies that show uh, testicular tissue has receptors that can respond to Ozempic, and there are some studies that actually show lower testosterone levels immediately after Ozempic administration. It can also lead to suppression of the pituitary hormones that are responsible for sending out the signals for ovulation. And this is particularly true in cases where people are losing too much weight too fast. It can really stress out your body and lead to the shutdown of those signals so that you stop getting a period at all. Check out my blog, theluckyegg.com, for more information where I delve even deeper into this topic. And I even have some references there if you wanna look at the actual studies.